What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ryan and I'm going to be playing some Loadout. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game and I mean the proof of that comes in the fact that I've been playing this game even when I'm not doing YouTube content. I've been playing this game to death and I've been loving it. I've been upgrading this rocket launcher to pieces because I mean I know I enjoyed the rocket launcher if you watch my first Let's Play I was pretty much just saying about how it appeals to my nostalgia, my Quake 3 nostalgia of just bouncing everyone around with the rocket launcher and then getting mid-air hits on them, that was some of the most fun stuff in the world. Those hit marker sounds are so satisfying. So I've been playing with pretty much the base rocket launcher, and I have been, well my team's entirely behind me, I have been just like slaughtering this rocket launcher, so now I've like ranked up every piece on it, the only part that's not standard on it at the moment is the barrel. The barrel, oh the barrel and the stock, the stock is the compact stock and the barrel is the triple barrel. I found the triple barrel more effective than the single barrel, because it allowed me to, um, it allowed me to have more shots and the damage loss from the shots was it was worth it pretty much having one rocket where if i missed it would take me like or if i missed it or didn't get quite an optimum hit on them it would take a while for me to reload it properly hey, is there someone behind me this one i saw a little blip behind me die gotcha Sweet. So yeah, I've, the triple barrel rocket launcher, the um, triple barrels was worth the... It was worth losing a little bit of damage from the single rocket. If the single rocket was a direct hit, it was nearly always guaranteed a kill, but the triple rocket means that like, if I can get a direct hit with at least two of them, it's usually a kill. So that gives me the one extra rocket for a bit of flexibility. And it also means if I get three near hits, it will kill, so... Yeah. Oh crap, what's going on here? Tesla rockets! Alright, I really need some health. Health! Where are you? Come on, health! So yeah, I've been enjoying this. Ooh, that guy's chasing me down a little bit. Where's the health? Someone grab the health, damn it! Alright, I'm gonna duck on over here. See if that guy's coming around the side. Nope, yes, no. Long range rockets! Come on, I need some health. Well, I got my shield up, so I might be able to make a sprint for some health, but I'm gonna die doing this, so... Let's not get too cocky about this. Ah, oh, that guy got the health, damn it. I'm gonna die. Yep, let's get out of here. No shield, no health. Okay, yeah, there goes my legs. So I've been having a blast with this. I mean, I've been pretty much exclusively playing with the rocket launcher, but I've been loving it. Also, just gets a little bit of a heads up. I, I'm usually alright. I mean, I'm usually pretty damn good with the rocket launcher, but I'm talking at the same time, so that's a little bit detrimental to my gameplay style. Oh, that dude's got a... Hey, screw you. Come back here. Oh, yep, run towards those walls. Damn it. Alright, I'm getting a little bit outnumbered here. So yeah, I do want to keep talking about the gameplay, but I also need to focus a little bit. And help me talking about what I'm doing helps me focus, so... Sweet deal, we've got the camera. The camera? The hammer. The hammer cap. We'll call it a camera for now. Hey, where are you? So yeah, triple barrel, pretty awesome. Alright, I saw another guy down here. Alright, he's... Whoa! Tesla rockets. I, he's playing Tesla cluster or Tesla flak. That's an extremely brutal tactic. Well, he needs one more hit on this guy. Here we go. Yet, yeah. jeez, these guys are pummeling all kinds of stuff through here. Suppressive fire. Suppressive rocket fire. I really need some health. If I get enough money, I'm definitely going to be upgrading this rocket launcher. But I'm thinking the way it's built at the moment will be the way I'll keep playing it. Because, I mean, I mostly fire from the hip, I never aim down sights, and with the rocket launcher, I mean, the most flexible way to use it, I find, is just jumping around and firing at the same time, so... Wow, I'm literally on a sliver of health! Where the heck is the health packs? Alright, I know there's one down here, let's see if I can make it without dying. Go! Yes! I also feel like I should dip... No, oh, we lost. I was, I was about to say, I also feel like I should dip, dodge, and duck a little bit more. Dip, dodge, duck, and dodge. Dodge, dip, duck, and dodge? Whatever. So yeah. Oh, not too bad. Kill Death of Two. I've been enjoying this game thoroughly. If you want to get this game, go pick it up on Steam. It is free at the moment. Well, it's free forever as far as I know. And it's an awesome game. It's really polished. The sound assets are phenomenal. The animation is of top quality. All the models and textures look great. Um, it's not pay to win at all. 
the only advantages you get for paying will be you can outfit your character. It's all vanity items and slight little quality of life things like being able to buy additional weapon slots, but you can unlock a decent amount. I mean, six is plenty. I only use one weapon really, the other ones are just there for in case I feel like it. If at any point I feel like screwing around with weapons, I have the option to. So that's nice. But yep, definitely, go pick it up. It's free, and it's awesome. Go play it. Alright, we got Extraction on Brewery. I actually don't want to play that. I want to go... If I go random map, though, it'll probably be... Well, it might be Death Snatch. Death Snatch is kill confirmed, basically. I wouldn't mind playing Death Snatch. Let's see how we go. DFG Dynamite. Alright. Okay, so... It looks, it's looking like it's going to be Extraction on the Brewery. Which... I mean, I'm not too fond of. I don't mind Extraction too much. It's an interesting game type, but it's a bit problematic when you're in the middle of a firefight and it's just randomly like, you are the collector, and you're like, well, crap. That's happened to me a few times. Oop, and we go to game starts. Sweet. I'm Nick Fury, fool. <laughs> he's the black dude. I wonder if he's actually spent a bit of... Well, he's got the custom avatar icon, so I want... he's probably got a few space bucks to throw at making his character look like Nick Fury, so that'd be pretty cool. I wonder if he did do that. That'd be kind of interesting. You get one free rename once you've made your account. Which, there you go. You get one free rename token. Which means if you don't like your name, you can change it. Which is really nice. I think more games need to do that. Unless you have a set alias, like I do. I have Setha, that is my set alias. Unless you have a set alias, a lot of people just have a tendency to... Um, pick really stupid names. Fire the rockets! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we start a game of... Of Death Snatch. Wait, no, this is not Death Snatch. This is. Okay, crap. This is. Um... What game is this? This is Collector. Alright, I need to get out of there. Get out! Get out! Ooh, may have hit his rocket in midair. Nice. So, this is um, Collector. The objective of this game is one person is the team's Collector and the other person is. The, um, and everyone else is just basically their job is to kill the collector and slash or kill their opponents who will be trying to kill I'm now I'm the collector damn it this is what I was talking about sometimes you get made the collector in the middle of a firefight and it's really inconvenient dodge so my job now as the collector once the previous collector is killed one new person ah oh, damn it becomes the collector and their job is to run around and collect these things so that summarizes the gameplay really one person collects, the other person, the rest of the team is trying to kill the other collector and each other. Which usually just turns into the game being a one giant firefight. But you actually do score quite a decent amount of experience being the collector, I won't lie. I'm building a nice advantage for our team. Just running this little section here. This seems to be respawning at a rate where I can just keep running through this little area. Going down here will probably be the bane of me. Nope, okay, I'm fine. Jeez, I'm building a really nasty lead doing this. And our enemies seem to be avoiding us. Or they seem to be avoiding me, at least. I think it's because my team is pushing so aggressively to kill their, their collector. Although I found the most effective strategy with this game type, for me in particular, I have found that um, killing the collector until you get someone who's totally incompetent at being the collector, because occasionally, because this is a collection type game mode where... Oh, there we go. We have a taker. Hang on, we'll try and kill him first now. Oh crap, there's two of them. That sound like footsteps on my door. Sorry. No, I'm just recording. Oh, Alright, that was an interruption. And I'm still collected. Nice. Oh, but I'm getting pushed quite aggressively. Time to move. Nope, I am dead. I just ran into more of them. Oh well. Alright, well I'm not the collector anymore, so now, at least now I can just push for kills. Which I'm totally fine with, because that is weapon experience. Let's jump into this firefight down here. I saw you, buddy. Ozfrog. You leave my collector alone. Let my pickles go. Hey. So yeah, rocket jumping is not a thing in this game, which is the, one of the first lessons I learned rather, hard, rather harshly. Alright, I don't think our collector is actually collecting. This is what I was talking about. Once a competent collector gets killed, occasionally you'll get like a really incompetent collector. But if you're playing with friends, one of the most fun things to do is you um, intentionally kill their collector until they get someone who's only um, deathmatching. And then you, once they're the collector, you just let them stay as the collector. 
And then they'll pretty much just run around trying to kill people the entire game, and you just leave them alive. Because the, to win this game, you do have to capture. You can't win by doing kills and stuff. Oh, come back here. I'm gonna try and kill their collector, because this guy's actually collecting, so... Get back here. Well, I've almost got him, so unless he runs over a health pack now... Yep, there we go. Sweet deal. Alright. Let's hop out of here. Grab some health. Oh, I'm the collector now. Okay. Well, let's get back to collecting. And try and get our team in a little bit of an advantage now, because whoever was the collector previously was just deathmatching. Ooh, crap. There we go. Respawn. Yoink. And I'm being attacked, so let's work with... Let's get rid of this guy. Grenades! I'll hope my teammate can take care of that. Yep, he can. Oh, crap. Oh, it blew up! What? Alright, I need to keep collecting. I'll hope, I hope my teammate can take care of that guy. Come on. Don't die. And don't explode. What the hell was that? Maybe it explodes if someone shoots it or something. I'm not sure what happened there. That was weird. Alright, so their collector is near us. Oh, I'm getting swarmed. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, I killed their collector. Alright, and I'm dead. Alright, so I got a little bit outnumbered there. Kill death of 3.5. Not too bad. I'm cleaning up a little bit. And I'm also collecting for our team. Although I appear to be the only person collecting for our team because our team has... A, yeah. Unfortunately, quite a few people on my team are just deathmatching and that's it. Alright, there was one other guy somewhere around here. I know I saw him. There he goes. Oh, it's Ozfrog again. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit horrible with the rockets so far. I'm usually quite a bit better than this, but... Like I said, talking and playing games is still something I'm getting used to. Let's get that plutonium! I mean, that health. Yep, let's try and kill him. He's probably got this one capture, though. Die. Nice! I may have just held off their lead for a little bit longer. Oh, crap. Ha! Oh, that's unfortunate. The one person who became the collector was the guy I was fighting and it already whittled down to next to no health. Oh, I'm the collector now, and I just killed myself. Nice. Yeah, that's the problem with this game type, is that it can throw anyone to be the collector, and you can be on no health and in the middle of a firefight, and you'll suddenly become the collector. And since there's about a five second downtime before um, you become the collector, it slows the other team down quite a lot, if you manage to do that. There we go. Like that guy. He was getting fired on by three of us, and he became the collector. Let's sprint over here. 3v1. <laughs> yep, alright, my kill death's gone down a little bit now, but assuming they capture something, which they should, I don't understand why they haven't. That said, our teammate doesn't seem to be capturing anything. Our current collector, oh no, there we go. He was having a little bit of a brawl there. GG, lads. No collector lols. Yeah, I was collecting for most of that game. Well, I mean, I was collecting for a good chunk of that game. I think I was a... Uh, captures 14, yeah, I was... Wow, okay, so I did most of the capturing in that game. Yep, there we go. That's what I was talking about. The problem with this game type is, if you're the collector, you can be the collector for only like a split second before you're absolutely blown to smithereens. And there's also the other problem of, occasionally you will um, be the collector, but you'll be the only person collecting on your team. It's a little bit odd when you become the collector. It's not exactly clear. It kind of just flashes up on your screen, and if you're in the middle of a firefight, you might not notice it. So, yeah. But if but the other problem is, because you don't have the option on what game type you want to play, quite often you get people playing objective types who just want to kill people, so they get into a collector game and they'll just go nuts trying to kill everyone. And overall it's a little bit more beneficial to try and win the match, because I mean you get an ex a bit of extra currency, which is quite nice. Actually while we're here we might as well go have a look at it. I've been upgrading my rocket launcher two bits. I love this thing. So I've got level 2 slugs, I've got level... I've just recently bought the compact stock, so I'll be doing that. I don't think I'll be keeping the standard. I need to upgrade my iron sight. I've upgraded my semi-auto, I've upgraded rockets, I've upgraded impact, I've upgraded contact, and I need to upgrade explosive. I've got two more things to upgrade. So far I've got like a level 6 rocket launcher because of it. Every time you level up a bit of equipment, it increases the level of um, of your thing, basically. If, it's a if all of your parts are level 1 parts, then um, it will be a level 1 weapon. 
but for every upgrade that you get to each part increases the level so for example if I have two parts that everything's level one except for two parts two parts are level two that means the weapon will be a level three weapon because it just takes those two additional levels and adds them to level one so at the moment I've got something like a level five or level six launcher which throws a lot of people I mean the statistical differences between a level three and a level I mean like the level one and a level like seven weapon are bare minimal so you'll barely notice them but ah oh, jackhammer crap so it's just me and him I'm gonna say hi damn it Nick Fury <laughs> alright well I just watched him jump off the edge of the map so this is 1v1 this will be stupid I didn't know you could actually get into matches with 1v1 so this is pretty much going to be a game of we steal each other's hammer and then we see who can kill the other person with the hammer. Unless we get some people joining the game. Ah, oh, let me take the hammer. Ah, oh, I'm lagging. Yeah, I was lagging a little bit. Alright. So is he going to kill me and then try and take the hammer? Or is he going to try and kill me with the hammer? We'll see. We will see. Yep, it's a hammer war. Come on, bro. Oh, this would be the most epic warfare. Oh, he's dropped the hammer. He's going to try and kill me. Alright. Screw you. Come here. Oops, I accidentally used up a charge on the hammer. Alright, so he's running back to his base. I might have to chase him. I think there's probably a reset timer on the hammer, so... That sucks. Alright, come on. Nope, he's firing slow rockets. Alright. Come on. The enemy has stolen the Damn it, he got me. Alright. <laughs> That's GG. <laughs> oh, this is the best game ever. Game ever. Oh, this is awesome. Of all the game types it could have put us in, it put us in, in the hammer game type and capture the hammer. I mean, really. Of all things. So we're basically, uh, we are just basically stealing the hammer off of each other and trying to kill each other with it. It's, a, oh my gosh, I hate the fact that you can double tap it and it drops it. I'm too used to games where you hold down the used key to pick up items. Alright, so we've stolen the hammer, let's just, yep, yeah, alright, so he's got the hammer again. He'll probably be coming through there, so. Oh, he got me while I was in mid -air. damn it. Alright, so I think it's safe to say he's a bit better than me with the hammer. I'm thinking I might quit this game just to try and find a more interactive game. Alright, I'm going to leave this game just to get more interactive. It's a little bit of a boring let's play if it's just me 1v1ing with one guy and I'm worse than him, so... I need to be better than someone. I'm running a YouTube channel here, damn it. I need to be doing better than someone. I'm also going to change the song. I need something in a... Jedic. Let's go with... Yeah. Hopefully it didn't throw me into... Nope, okay. Good. It's Death Snatch. I'm okay with this. Ooh, and it's tied too. I'm not getting in, joining in on a really terrible position. Alright. Alright, right, so we got an entire team over there. Nope. Damn it. Get back here. Alright, I'm running into their entire team. This is really bad. Let's get out of here. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, so that guy's on full health. Yep, I'm in a bad position. Yep, I got melted. I ran face first into their entire team. That was a bad way to start. Alright. Uh, here we go, there's a dude there. I might try and stick with my team a little bit. I mean, at least it allows you denials and stuff as well as the actual kills. Ooh, I don't know what he fired at me. Whatever he fired at me, it did a good chunk of my health. That was a set of horrible rockets. That was really bad. Let's try and duck up. No, nope, okay, not gonna let me up there. Let's go up here. Oh, who are you shooting at? Damn it, son. Oh, what's going on? I think I'm getting sniped. Crap. All right, I'm doing horribly this game. Here we go. Just rocket myself. Why not? Hmm. 
Alright, I also need some health. Let's grab that before I die. There we go. Nice. I like the little syringes, but they don't quite con make contact with the character. Some of the design choices for this game are awesome. Come on. I got you, buddy. Okay, well not. Teammates got you. So, stop firing at me. Nice. Alright, my teammates are killing the... Getting, confirming the kills, not me. Fun fact, you can melee turrets to kill them. Oh, did I kill that guy with... Nice, I did too. Damn. Their entire team's here. Son of a... I wish they'd stop doing this to me. I somehow keep managing to run into their entire team. I think they are actually sticking as a squad, which is a little bit bad. I like being able to pick them off one by one. Oh, there's a sniper there somewhere, though. Ah, damn this guy with the beam with the flat pyro beam gun. Yep, I respawned into their entire team again. Damn it! Ah. Okay, I'm getting sick of my spawn points a little bit, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, I spawned. It's because our team's so spaced out. <sighs> that was a horrible melee. All right, so they're all over there. Chase this dude because I can. Damn it! My teams keep my teammates keep on confirming my kills. I'm getting no pill. I'm um, no pills, no kills, no points. Those are the words I'm looking for. Words. Don't fail me now. All right, that guy with the pyro beam gun is really frustrating because he just has to hit you once and you stop stealing my damn kills. Damn it! I feel like I'm not going to be getting anywhere near as many points for this game as what I normally would. Finally, got a kill confirmed. I've had a few kills now, but... Or near kills, at least. I mean, I'm not too fussed about assists, but it's when I kill someone and someone else confirms it. Ah, well. I guess it's a trade-off of actually being, I guess, somewhat decent with a rocket launcher. It means that your opponent, your teammates who like to get into close combat frays get to confirm all your kills. Alright, so I saw a name flash up here, so... Once again, running into their entire team. Sweet deal. And confirmed by a teammate. Ah. Alright. Grab that health. Ooh. Hey, we're winning. Sweet deal. Oh well. I guess if I am, I am at least getting kills and my teammates are at least confirming them, which is nice. And holy heck, I didn't know you could go this high. Wow. That's cool. They really don't really... They don't limit you on what you can do and where you can move to. Long range kill. Jump. Have a rocket. Have more rockets. Get back here. Damn. Oh, I was about to say, I think I almost jumped into a grenade there. So we got a little bit of fire coming from above. Nope. Okay. Come back here. I want healing. I want healing. Oh, wait. I have healing rockets. Do I? Do I have healing rockets? I think I do. Yep, I do. Alright. Come back here. Gotcha, buddy. Ah. I think I got a denial and a kill confirmed. Oh, that beam fire gun is going to kill me. Slaughtering me. Although, go go teammates. Teammates joining the fray. Nice. Okay, I actually didn't do as bad as I thought I did. 7 over 3, but I mean I only got 2 confirms. So, I think... Yep. I was losing a lot of my confirms, but... Oh well. Yeah, there we go. Level 7... <laughs> That guy has a level 7 improved slug rifle, so that's pretty much what my rocket launcher would look like. Alright, I think I might do one more game, got a little bit more time, so... We'll do one more game, see what I can get. Now, um, I was thinking about it recently, and with the double XP and double loot boost you get for playing games, they could become really beneficial really quickly. I mean, in a game like Blacklight Retribution, I know I keep comparing them a lot, but I mean the the most appealing aspect of the game is the weapon crafting in both of them. But they just have different styles of gameplay and different, like, genre, different overall theme, but the basic important part of the game is the weapon crafting. With, um... With Blacklight, when you buy the double credit boost or whatever it was, the crew... It's just basically a credit boost, whenever you get one of those. They are... 
barely noticeable because it takes about 10 20 games before you can actually buy something that you do want like permanently unlike this game where it'll take about four five games to buy something if that the stuff the modification is super cheap and you can do it really easily so that kind of stuff is really easy to do oh there we go rank 6 launcher that kind of stuff is really easy to do and um but with this one, the bloop boost means that instead of getting 500 XP for finishing a match, or 500 bloops for finishing a match, you will be getting a thousand. Given that it only takes about a thousand, like the most expensive upgrades, only like like the most expensive upgrades are only about 3,000 credits. That means after about three games, you're guaranteed to be able to buy an upgrade or a different part. So it's a bit crazy how that can work. Oh look, everyone's ready. Nice. All right, so we're playing Trailer Park at night on Blitz, or we're playing Blitz at night on Blitz at night Blitz on Trailer Park at night. There we go, that finally got out of my mouth. So this is the Raise the Underwear. Um, it's basically control points, but it's called Raise the Underwear on the flagpole. And this is how you start a game with loadout. This is the best way. Every game should start out like this, with everyone with rocket launchers pointing at the ground. And everyone blown to smithereens. Nice. There we go, it kind of screws with the kill-death ratios straight on from the get-go. I like it. There will be some people who will be really annoyed about that kind of thing because it means that you could cut their yeah, words. You can't just um, being superior. You still can't exactly always avoid the damage that you take from. I'm just gonna stand here and melee everyone. That worked. All right. So apparently I didn't have the teammates there to support me, but I did just stand there and beat half the people down over the capture point. Got a double kill for that. Not gonna complain. Alright, so let's push this point. I'm gonna fire some rockets over there, because I mean, I got the long range capability, so. Let's capture this point! Fire rockets. And they found I was there! Oh, okay, killed myself. The one downside to rocket launches. So, yeah, this is. That's a, Wow, it's really horrible that that's the first capture point. Because that immediately starts putting, like, I mean, that's... I mean, I guess it's cool that that's the first capture point, because, I mean, it is such a big point. Oh, crap. What's happening to me? There's one guy hiding in the corner. All right. Oh, it's that guy. I guess I should have seen that coming. Ah, oh, no, we lost that one. All right. Uh, yeah, so the important thing about control points is that you actually stand on the control points. Like, being able to kill enemies before they get to the control point is very rarely something that happens, so more often than not, it is more beneficial just to fight on the control point. Because you'd think that being able to kill enemies before they get to the control point would be beneficial, but it really isn't, because if your opponent only has to stand on the control point for a few seconds to be able to negate you from capturing it, so if they're running through and they just happen to get past it, then that'll do the trick. Ooh, that guy's using slow... It looks like Agile Rockets. Or not... Yeah, it looks like he's using Agile Rockets, which... Agile Rockets are more powerful, but they travel a tiny bit slower. But if it looks like he's remote detonating them. Alright, so it's that guy. I refuse to say your name on... Nice. Alright. Well, we captured it, at the cost of my leg. I'm okay with that. I'd rather win as a team than win as a player. I saw hot, nice. Ooh, I love this song. Don't know how the audio sounds in the game. I'm not sure how, like, the audio is clocking up. Uh, because I don't often record with music, so... <laughs> Let's just hit this rocket in midair, nice. Alright, come on. Damn it, I think I just killed myself again. Yeah, I'm usually my own worst enemy with this rocket launcher. I have a tendency to hit people when I'm point blank or run into walls and shoot when I'm hitting up against walls. Once again, it's one of those Quake 3 things where I'm so used to not having to worry about that crap. In Quake 3, the rocket launcher does such minimal damage to players. Or does such minimal players to damage to a player themselves that it, like, it's not usually a concern. Yes! Alright. Worth it. So yeah, if you can, if you're playing this game, definitely pointer fight on the control point. Don't stand back and try and kill people. Because all it takes is a few seconds of control to make all the difference. And the more people there are standing on the control point, the faster it captures. Which is a good way to do it, because 
then you don't have systems of like two people standing on a control point winning at everything oh that guy didn't die oh he jumped out he landed on a health point all right all right so there we go there's me not following my own word i stood back and kind of tried to kill them before i went on the control point and they just captured it without flawlessly you have to actually be pretty much on the control point for it to count so where's this new control point? Oh, it's over there. Go, go, teammates. So someone's got a turret already. That's nice. That'll help defend it a little bit. Screw you. Oops. I think I just rocketed myself. Nice. Sweet, we got that one. I really need some health. I'm looking a little bit shabby right now. My leg is falling apart. Control point. There we go looking like we may or may not just have this game pretty much under wraps we just fire some rockets into there i mean oh crap I just ran over a grenade and there goes the rest of my leg grenades are brutal in this game if your player runs over a grenade it is almost guaranteed to kill them fire rockets screw you get out from there Oh crap. Damn. So what happened there? Oh, I got naded again. So yeah, grenades are brutal. You do have the choice of equipment, and there is some really fun equipment that you can get your hands on. But, for the greater part, grenades rule this, run this gambit. Yep. Enough grenades will do the trick. As you saw there. Grenades everywhere. Nice, although we got the control point. So I think we have, yep, three captures. So it's first to 5,000 and you get 500 points for one capture. What's going on down here? I got your back, buddy. Oh crap, landed on the grenade. Not good, not good. Teammates. I mean, enemies. Ah, oh, that rocket hit me. I don't know what he was, oh, there was a teammate underneath me. I was about to say, I don't know what he's actually shooting at. Teammate underneath me taking a bit of ammo there. Yeah, attack that point. Fire a few premature rockets down, see who we can hit. Alright, we need to get on that control point to stop them from capturing it. Because if it's uncontested, which means if there's no one standing directly on the control point. I think I just shot the control point and hit myself. That was stupid. Alright, that bunny dude just Oh, he's got rocket boots. Nice. Go go team! Someone get on that control point. Yep, so now they're pushing to stand on the control point, and you can watch how quickly it's going down. Let's go. This is actually a pretty tense game. These guys are alright. I'm fond of a little bit of actual decent competition. So now it's just me on the control point. And I'm guessing their entire team is going to come from behind and kill us. Oh, almost got it. No! We're so close. One or two more pushes. Whoever that teammate with the gun up there is, I hope he gets down there really quickly. Yeah, unfortunately not many people realize that the most efficient way to play this is to just stand on the control point. Because if you've got if they're completely uncontested, the more people there are standing on the control point, the quicker it captures. And I mean it does make you a lot more prone to grenades and rockets, which is why I think they did it, but still. Nice, we got it. And now we just have to kill the enemies just because we hate them. They are bad guys. And there goes my lower half. And part of my head from the look of it. Nope, okay. Yeah, the animation and the quality of this game is just phenomenal. Especially for a free game. I really hope these guys made an actual decent profit off of this game. Like, this is a great game. Alright, so one of these guys should be on really low health. Oh crap. Alright. I have to say. I'm not gonna lie, that guy's name is appropriate. He's doing pretty decently, 22 over 17. But I can see why, he's doing the whole dodge, dip, duck and dodge. I'm not even sure if that's the quote to be honest, but eh. Dodgeball, not exactly a great movie. Ooh, crap, all right. So they're all coming down that corridor, let's fire rockets down that corridor. Try and hit them while they're low. All it'll take is for another yeah, few bullets and I'm dead. Capture time, 41 seconds. Alright, so I... Sh I sh oh, it's I shot. I shot is not spending much time on the capture point. That would be nice if he would do that. 
I'm not sure if that's him standing back there. Oh crap, that was a bunch of missed rockets. Oh, that was another bunch of missed rockets. I'm gonna try and kill that this guy. Because he's actually kind of brutal. There we go, got him. Top away from that grenade. Nice. One more capture, and we are done. Oh, I thought that rocket would have been a little bit more direct. Teammates got him, that's good. Where's the last capture point? Oh, it's down the bottom. Is this that mosh pit one? It is. This capture point is a giant mosh pit. Oh, I was getting zapped from behind. I'm thinking... Oh, no, looks like they got this one. They got this one. Oh, well. We're still only one capture point away. I'm fine with that. Come on, buddies. Where's the last capture point? Whoa, where are you shooting at? New control point. Alright, it's over there. Oh, it's this one again. It's another mosh pit control point. Step away from those grenades! Nice. And we won. Nice. Unfortunately, ACL got top player, not me. Oh, he's 200 points ahead of me, though. Not too bad. Here's me in the background. Halga and her bouncy bodice. Level 2 Pyro Launcher. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so this would be my second Let's Play of Loadout. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, go pick this game up. It's awesome. I'm going to keep plugging for this game because I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, there's my daily prize. Nice. Alright, so apparently what I was talking about last time, where the daily prizes appear to be rigged, where you always win it, it's not intentionally rigged. Apparently it's actually just broken and it's not inten functioning as intended. Where it is Apparently it's currently, I'm not sure if they've fixed it already, apparently it is currently giving you the best prize all the time. So we'll just pick one random one, feeling bad about that one. Let's go with that one. Hip hop jeans, okay. Yeah, 350 blutes. I get the feeling the outfit part would actually be the best thing. And that's a cool thing. A daily prize is a um, cosmetic island. Cosmetic Island. Cosmetic item. That you normally have to pay real money for. That's actually really cool and really cool of them to do that. But anyway. That was my Let's Play of Loadout. Uh, go grab it. Seriously. It's good. Anyway. Thank you for watching.